Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into 40, chapter 45 of Escape Room by Marin Stoffels. Uh, we just found out that Miles is kind of a cuckoo himself, not just Cleo, but we'll see if he can make it up to men or what, but let's get right this into This video it. may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 45, Mint. There's a war raging in my stomach. Miles is gone, but I can still feel his thumb on my skin. I have to hold on to the dresser to stop my knees from giving way. Miles isn't just unreliable. He's dangerous. I hear him talking to Alyssa out in the hallway, but I can't make out what he's saying. His casual tone makes me nauseous. How can he put on a different face so quickly? It's not normal. It's... Hey, Mint. Alyssa comes into the room. You okay? I want to answer, but no sound is coming from my throat. How can I tell her what just happened? Are you crying? I collapse into Alyssa's arms leaning my full weight against her. Miles has had his hand around my throat. He could have strangled me if he wanted to. Could I even have called out for help? Shh, Alyssa whispers. It's going to be okay. I have to tell, tell her to stay away from Miles. That's all that matters now. It's Miles. He's dangerous. Alyssa frowns. Are you starting that again? Her words flash through my mind. I know who you got that panicky stuff from. Alyssa has to believe me. She has to. He threatened me. Alyssa looks shocked. Huh? When? Just now? I saw him yesterday. He completely flipped out. He's dangerous, Alyssa. He was yelling and smashing his scooter helmet into a bench, and then Cleo came along, and... Cleo, Alyssa says, interrupting me. She was out running. She asked Miles something, and he exploded. At Cleo? Why do we have to keep talking about Cleo? Didn't Alyssa hear what I'm trying to tell her? He's disturbed, I say quietly. I take a sidelong look at the door. Miles is even more dangerous than Cleo because he's in here with us. He's a head taller than Alyssa and me, and Skye has only one good hand left. He grabbed me by the throat. Here, I point to the place where Miles' thumb was pressed into my skin. Alyssa frowns. I don't see anything. He didn't squeeze. As soon as I say it, I realize I don't have a leg to stand on. As Miles said, Alyssa is on his side. I've never seen her like this before. She's completely fallen for Miles' tricks. <clears throat> How can you be blind? I'm getting angry now. You can see something that's something not... You can see something, something's not right, can't you? Alyssa looks at me silently for a few seconds and then she says, Are you mad because of your hair? Huh? What? Does she really think that's what I'm worried about? Why would I be bothered about my hair? I explode. I was already ugly anyway. Are you jealous of Miles and me? Alyssa doesn't know what she's talking about. That has nothing to do with it. You're jealous because you don't have a boyfriend and I do. I want her to stop. Is that what you're? why you're wearing makeup? Because you want to be... Be like me. Not everything revolves around you. I spit the words out. Sometimes things are about someone else, but you're only interested in yourself. Even when Sky got hurt, you didn't even help him. I was panicking. Alyssa takes a step forward. The way you always do with your stomach and your aches and pains. Everyone feels sorry for you, including me. Why do you think I came and sat with you on the first day of school? I felt sorry for you. For you. Sad little mousy mint. I can't I can see it again. I had thought Alyssa had made a bet, and that's why she came to sit by me. But this reason is much worse, better sad than selfish. The words come pouring out as if they've always been there, but have just only found the way out. You always want all the attention, even at your dad's expense. I know bringing up the documentary is a step too far, but I can't stop. I want to hurt her. Alyssa faces. Alyssa's face changes. You have no idea what you're talking about, but you might... If you'd ever asked me about it, I want to take <clears throat> back my words, but at the same time, I kind of want to say them all over again. Is it any wonder I get all the attention, hisses Alyssa, and look at the state of you now with your hacked off hair. It's like someone else, is li someone else lifts up my arm and swings it forward. The flat of my hand slaps hard against, uh, against Alyssa's cheek. At first, her eyes are wide with disbelief, but then they turn as cold as miles. That is the end of this chapter. And it is also the end of the third part of this book. <clears throat> we will be going into the fourth part of the book within the next few days. So prepare you guys to sell for that. So I'll see you guys within the next few days for part four of Escape Room. Bye.